calm down. He tells me nothing because he's scared of you. <laughs> Too late now. Oh, I get back. Oh, calm down now. Men min næste gæst har hverken givet sin højre arm eller andet for at blive kæreste med en af Twilight skuespillerne. Faktisk så vidste hun slet ikke, hvem han var. Jeg talte tidligere, eller jeg havde tidligere i dag besøg af Sabine fra Danmark. Hun er model, og jeg har også besøg af hendes amerikanske kæreste. Velkommen Sabine Bessel Mostrup, and welcome to you, Bronson Penache. Sabine, how did you manage to meet this Twilight star? Um, I met him last year in uh, Copenhagen at a club and we just started hanging out during the weekends and then been together ever since. What did you know about tw about Twilight uh, before meeting Bronson? Um, well, I haven't read any of the books, but I did watch uh, the first movie Twilight and then I knew there was going to be two more movies and when I met him, I knew a new movie was coming out and I actually had received uh, reserved seats the next day for New Moon at the cinemas. It's because so. you weren't in the first movie. No, no, I wasn't in the first one, but I was in the New Moon, and that's what brought me to Denmark to, beginning, to begin with, was because I was doing the, the Denmark premiere here. And uh, yeah, I just ran into her at Corel, and I had to see her again. I really wanted to see her again, so I took her out to dinner a couple of times. But so you didn't recognize him from, from any movies or anything? No, because he hadn't been, really been in like movies, more TV shows. So no, I didn't see him because Numa wasn't out yet. Okay. Yeah. What was it about uh, Sabine that caught your eye? Uh, actually, I, she was very, I separated her out of her friends because most of her friends were blonde haired girls. And I noticed she was a brunette, and I don't know. And you don't I, like blondes? Oh, no, I, don't, I love blondes. <laughs> I mean, I loved blondes at a point, but I mean, I just kind of see her. She really stood out. And I just had to come and I had to approach her and I came up to her and I started talking to her. And it's funny because I was wearing, I was wearing my just regular dress shoes and she's the same height as me. So uh, she was wearing high heels though, so she was a little bit taller, so I had to sit her down. <laughs> and I sat her down and just started talking to her and, you know, the rest is history. So now I want to ask you in Danish, what was it you fell for with Bronson? It was his charm. He was very charming. Og så var det spændende. Uh, han var jo ikke dansker. Uh, han var kanadier, og det var meget spændende. Så inviterede mig efterfølgende ud, og så fandt jeg ud af, at han var super sød, og han er virkelig, virkelig en god dreng. Okay, Bron, så nu vil jeg ask you, hvad do du think Sabine just said in Danish about why she fell in love with you? I, I, I heard his charm. It yes. sounded a little bit like a charmer, maybe. Um, I have no idea. Maybe because uh, funny, maybe. Did you throw that in there? No. <laughs> okay. Not, Not that. so much. No. <laughs> you are funny though. Um, I don't know. I no, can okay. tell you. Okay. You will tell him later. Okay. I love him. It's a deal. But listen, Bronson, how many offers do you get from girls? Because I know you have, uh, like the other Twilight uh, stars, a lot of fans. Yeah. I mean, like, sometimes we'll get the often pro marriage proposal from fans and be like, marry me, I'll be like, <laughs> that's probably illegal, but okay, <laughs> you know, like, it's weird stuff like that every now and then, but, you know, I'm a, I'm a one-lady guy, so I got my girl here, so oh I'm just fine. Oh my god, how romantic. I know, I'm glad he is. What uh, kind of considerations did you have before starting a relationship with Bronson, who, who has uh, a lot of fans, girl fans? Um, well, at first... We really didn't know if this was going to be like for real, really serious, because he lived in uh, Vancouver then, and I lived in Copenhagen. But then, as soon as we just started traveling back and forth, we knew it was serious. And I mean, it's it's kind of a thing you have to deal with because it's not going to change. But how do you manage to keep the relationship alive then? Because you live in the states, and and, and you live in uh, in Denmark. Let's just say there's a, a lot of skyping. Okay, you lots, use Skype. Lots and lots of Skyping. But I mean, she actually lives with me in Los Angeles. She just uh, she just did an internship in Los Angeles. We have an apartment together. And um, when she's done schooling out here, she's going to hopefully move, move into yeah. Los Angeles and, uh, into our apartment. Yeah. And uh, you're actually planning on moving uh, to Hollywood. Uh, what kind of life do you imagine uh, you have to live over there together? Um... I mean, a little more, I wouldn't excite, 
Miami is probably not the right word, but a little more. There's a lot more like things to do there. That's I it. mean, you have so much stuff to do besides work. It's a lot faster pace. Like What's a, that? Li a lifestyle. It's like a little faster, faster okay. pace. Yeah. You know, a lot of you keep you keep you're very busy, very very busy yeah. all the time. Every day we we always plan on going out to a movie at the end of the day, but we're doing like 50 things in one day. And the time we have time for a movie, we're both just exhausted, and we just want to go home to sleep. Yeah. Because Los Angeles is so big, and every time we have to do stuff is the opposite end of Los Angeles. And what about moving to Denmark? I, you know... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you haven't thought about that. I mean, I mean, the conversation has been brought up before, but I mean, more, more or less, it's just, you know, nothing at the moment, nothing in the near future. Okay. What does your family think about you having a Danish girlfriend? Um, I th they think it's great. My mom thinks it's really good because she actually, uh, she keeps me out of trouble and she keeps me in line, so. <laughs> okay. So That's the rumor a Danish girl has, or? <laughs> no, I don't know. It's just, maybe it's just her. I, I tend to be a little bit of a, a wild child, so she's keeping me kind of calmed down. Okay. So, at last, uh, here, I want to ask you, because I know you speak, we could not do the interview in Danish then, but <laughs> you speak a little bit Danish. What can you say in Danish? Good morning, smoke a beer. Yes. Um, ja, jeg elsker dig. Hi, hi. Great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tak. And of course, um, go after Denmark. Yes, that, that's very important. Uh, very important. Yeah, okay. Very, very important. I would wish you both luck with your life and your relationship. And thank you very much for being here. Thank you. Tak, it was a pleasure to be, pleasure to be here. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> this is going fine. Can you